if uh, Boris Johnson tries to overthrow the British government. He's going to give a speech in Commons today that's going to throw down. He just went back to the Daily Telegraph as a columnist. I've been talking to him all weekend about this speech. Did you talk to him on the phone? Went back and forth over text. It's just easier. I talked to him initially on the phone, but then it's just easier to go back and forth on text. I've been telling him that my recommendation is that he gave the, one of the most important um, political speeches of 2016 was his closing speech. It took like, it was a three to five minute speech in June of 2016, his closing argument uh, on national TV for the Leave campaign. He was the official head of the Leave campaign, or one of the co-heads, I think it was. And all I was telling him all weekend is just to incorporate those themes, the same themes. It's time to believe in our Great Britain. Johnson and Raleigh called for the nation to look to a brighter post-Brexit future. This is the tee up, all right? He, he's back. Boris, Boris was a journalist before he was mayor of London and before he was foreign secretary. Wrote a great book on Churchill. That's one of the things I did tell him over the weekend, that his great love of Churchill and his great study of Churchill. And he wrote a really fantastic book for a modern audience on Churchill. I met Boris Johnson through... I met Boris Johnson... Um, kind of met him at these things years ago, but it's just one of those, you know, shake hands, didn't, you know, didn't, he, I'm sure he didn't remember me, but really met him right, at, he flew over right after, right after um, uh, we went, our guys in Breitbart London had a lot of contact with him during the Brexit, the Brexit thing. I didn't want to get involved because it was very British, right? So I didn't want to, you know, exert myself, although I was controlling editorial uh, it was to let Raheem and James Dellingpool